will need your uh, name and address for the record, please. Paul Blair. I'm a citizen of the Bellevue, Oklahoma City area community. I live in Edmond, 4325 The Ranch Road. I'm pastor of Fairview Baptist Church. First of all, it was interesting hearing Ed Shadid's exposition of the Bible. I wish I had time. I would like to be able to uh, respond to that. But because of three minutes, I don't have the time. Mr. White, I appreciate your opinions. If you are that uh, offended by citizens of other communities coming to Oklahoma City, then we can certainly shop in our own communities as well. However, your decisions in the greater Oklahoma City area will affect all of us. Number three, regarding social services, the Bible very clearly outlines the particular realms of charity. If I give my money away, it's charity. If the church gives money away, it's charity. When the federal government, state government, or city government takes my tax dollars and redistributes them, that is not charity. That's not a realm of their responsibility, according to the Bible. But that just being said in passing. Three things briefly about this particular issue. Number one, it's unnecessary. As was noted, there's only been one alleged case of uh, discrimination within the last 12 years. We don't have a major problem here. Number two, why are we creating a special class of protection for someone's behavior? We're not talking about civil rights. This is not a, a, a gender or this is not a race. This is protecting someone's behavior. In all studies, whether Kinsey's, whether Masters and Johnson's, say that homosexuality is largely a learned behavior. Number three, don't forget the T in GLBT. The GLBT community, Gay, Lesbian, Bisexual, and Transgender, act as one. The transgender, what are you going to do when you pass these kind of policies, excuse me, mouth's dry, and all of a sudden you've got Jim in accounting that decides he wishes to wear a miniskirt to work one day. Well, are you going to discriminate against him and send him home? What are you going to do when uh, uh, Officer Jones decides that he wishes to take a shower in the women's locker room because he's feeling like a woman that day? And by the way, what about the rights of that Christian woman or even the Muslim police officer, as I see Muslim uh, community represented in, in, in the chambers this, this afternoon or this morning? What about that woman's rights when she has to go to the shower and find some hairy-legged man in there wishing to shower with you or with her, and you all will not run the risk of discriminating against his uh, civil rights, supposedly. Excuse me. Anyway, that's all I had to share. I hope that you consider those things as have far-reaching consequences. Thank you. Thanks, Paul.